Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for your love. Father, we are grateful for your love. Lord, we are grateful for your love. Oh, Baba Sike, Baba Sike, Baba Sike, Father, we thank you, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. I worship you today, Jesus, oh my God, I I bow before you, Jesus, oh my God, I worship you today, Jesus, oh my God, I I bow before you.
Father, we thank you, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Somebody just give him praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Beatrice. God bless you. Sister Tani, Sister Luther. Every one of you, God bless you. Morning, morning. As you are coming, please share, share to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. This is um, our 24 hours in God's presence. We are fasting for 24 hours. If you haven't joined, it's not, uh, joined, it's not too late. You can just key yourself into this fast now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. This is our video two, audio two, or second prayer. We did one early this morning. I was late because I slept off. I was tired, brethren. I went to work yesterday, finished at five before I go home. And then I had to do Bible study with my team. By the time we finished, I was already tired. And in the, I wanted to rest a little bit. By the time I wake up, it was after 12. But then I woke up at 12, slept off again. But then I'll be fire wood though. Ah, it's not easy, oh. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It is great, so eh? it's not easy. But thank God we made it. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. Some people we are waiting for the 12 o'clock. But I did not, I think I came around one. But we still had a time. We had a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So you go back and watch it and just worship God today. And watch that uh, video one. I'm going to maybe just name all the videos, video one, video two, video three. During these 24 hours. So I'm go back, I'm gonna go back and put that as video one. This one is video two or audio one, audio two. Oh, it doesn't matter. Video, audio. It's still the same thing. It's only that you are not seeing, isn't it? It's still like <laughs> God bless you all. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Good morning, Sister Masia. God bless you. Please share. Some of you don't share my videos or audios. It's very bad. Yet I'm praying for you. And you don't share my video. I know I don't think about it all the time. You don't need me to tell you to share the word of God. It, it is not good. Share the be, Don't be partial. You are dividing. You are selecting. You are sharing some. You are not sharing some. Or you are not even sharing at all. 
It's not good. When you see the word of God that is blessing you, you yourself, you share it. You don't need to be told. You don't need to be told. Huh? Share it. You are here and God is blessing you. God is enriching you. He's increasing you. With my messages, with my video, is blessing you. Share it. Are you ashamed of me? Or are you ashamed of this ministry? But yet you come and you are blessed. It's not good. At least when I see you sharing, it encourages me too. Don't you know that? It is your own way of giving back. It's your own way of encouraging me too. When you share my video. Don't be ashamed of my videos. My videos are good. My messages are good. They are heavenly. They are Holy Ghost filled. They are filled with power and anointing. It is a message from the throne of grace. From the throne of God. Don't be ashamed to share my messages. If you are my follower. You know me, I'm not against you guys following anybody. Me too, I watch some other women of God or anointed men of God video. I follow them. There is nothing wrong with sharing their message, sharing my message, sharing any good message you know that is Holy Ghost filled. Share. That is your own way of evangelizing. It's not like we go on the streets to evangelize. It's not like we are preaching to much people on the streets. But when you share these videos, you share these audios to groups, to your world, to everywhere. You are preaching already. You are evangelizing already. You are reaching people in your platform, on your platform or in your groups. That is the fact. Please do share. God bless you as you obey in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. I don't know, in these 24 hours, we are just going to go random because that is the direction the Holy Ghost is leading me. Like There is no particular focus. Actually, there is a message I'm going to be preaching this afternoon. Maybe when we come for 12 o'clock, um, 12 o'clock prayers. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It is very, very important that we hear that message. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's just share the word of God and then we are going to pray. We are going to pray. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Is the music too loud? Let me reduce it. Is that good? Can you hear me? I want us to read Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. Can you type for me, please? Can you type for me Genesis chapter, chapter 1? Genesis chapter 1. Verses 26 to 28. Hey, my trust is in you. Can you type for me Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 28? My trust is in you. I'm waiting for somebody to type it. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. Genesis 1. Thank you, Jesus. My trust is in you. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. I put them all in you. God bless you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read. 
So then God said, let us make man in our image. According to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. God created them, then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves. Over every living thing that moves on the earth. Wow. 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 Look at this powerful scripture. I'm going to read it again. It's right there. Thank you guys for posting the full scripture. Then God said, Ha! New King James Version. I like this version. Let me read it. Oh, look at the amplified version that was posted. Let me read it with the amplified version. It says, Then God said, because the one I read now is New King James. Let's see. Then God said, Let us, and in bracket it put Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Make man in our image, according to our likeness. My God, not physical, not physical, but a spiritual personality and moral likeness. And let them have complete authority. Let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea the birds of the air, the cattle, and the entire, uh, and over the entire earth, and over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. And God blessed them, granted them certain authority, and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, and sub subjugate it, putting it under your power. Look at that. Putting it under your power, and rule over, which is dominate, the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living thing that moves upon the earth. Look at this one. It says, God, let us make man in our image. God is the one that created us the way we are. God is the one that formed us just as we are. I do not understand why people will hate themselves. I do not understand why you will look yourself in the mirror. And you, some people will just make comments like, I just hate myself. I hate my nose. I hate my eye. I hate my head. I hate my uh, belly. I hate my leg. I hate this. Oh, some people just look in themselves and they hate themselves. And look at this. It says, like, let them have dominion. God has given us dominion. He has given us power. To dominate, to subdue, to take over, to control. Why then is it, why is the reverse the case? Many of us we are the one that is being dominated. Many of us we are the one that is being controlled. Many of us we are the one. We are the one that is suffering. 
we do not understand the authority that Christ has given to us. We do not understand the power that we possess as God's children. We do not understand that Jesus has put things under our control. Cattles. If it says every creeping thing, how come we are the one that is being controlled by these things? How come we are the one that is being controlled? We are the ones that are being tormented by the evil ones. We are the ones that devil is tormenting with his demonic agents. Why is it so, my people? Do we not understand how important God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost came together and said, let us make man in our own image. After, according to our likeness, I am the image of God. I belong to God. I look like God. I look like God. Why then are we being controlled by fear? We are being controlled by circumstances and situations. Because we have lost the grip of whom we are in Christ Jesus. Now let me tell you this. Man is special, unique and important to God. When God created us, he created us for fellowship. Also, somebody says, some people hate themselves because they don't know how to love. They don't have God. They do not have God. They do not understand that we are made in his Im uh, uh, image and likeness. Hey, my father, my father, my father, look at creation. God spoke things into existence. Let there be light. Let there be this. Let there be that. Let the, the, the dead separate from the night. Everything the Lord created was created by with spoken words. He spoke them into existence but do you know in genesis 2 verses 7 genesis 2 7 he said and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life a man became a living soul do you see that God did not just say, let there be man. He took his time. He took his time. He took his time in creating, in forming man. He spoke this, let there be this, let there be light, let there be this. Even the cattle, even the animals, let there be this one. All the animals he created with spoken word. When it was time for God to make man, he says, and God formed man from the, God had to come down to the ground himself. Ha! He left his throne, he came down. A, a ground now, ground is on earth, heaven is above. God came, he bent down, his hand touching the ground, touching the ground. He took dust from the ground. God took time to create you and I. God took time to form us. He came and then he began to mold. He began to form. He began to mold. Look, with the hands of God, he began to mold. He did not just speak us into existence like he did to the animals, like he did to every other thing. No. He took time to create you. He bent down to the ground. He took the dust from the ground with his own two hands. Together with the Holy Ghost, together with Jesus, three of them let us. So it was not even God alone that was creating us. Probably when he did the eye, Jesus would say, Oh, Father, add this to it. Add that to it. Probably when he modeled the hands, the Holy Spirit said, Oh, Lord, uh, God, do this like this, do it like this. Together, together, God the Father, 
God the Son, God the Holy Ghost took their time to create us. And the Lord God, the Lord God, including the Holy Ghost, they were there watching. They were there working together. They were there molding. They were there forming. They were there shaping us. Why then are you looking down on yourself? Why then do you condemn yourself? Do you not understand that there is, there is power in your word? Do you not understand that your word carries power as a child of God? The words that we speak. What is coming out of you, child of God? What is coming out of you, sons and daughters of God? What are the things... Coming out from the abundance of the heart. The Bible says the man will speak. What is coming out of you, brethren? With your own mouth, you speak condemnation. Damnation to yourselves. Oh, some people use the mouth to say they are dead. Some people say, say this situation is too much for death. Some will begin to use the mouth to tell call themselves that they are useless, they are worthless. You begin to use your mouth to speak negativity to your own self. Stop it. Stop it. Because of one difficult situation, because of one trying time, because of one temptation, does that mean you should begin to condemn yourself? You that is made in the image of God. Do you even understand that with the breath of life that Jesus, that God breathed, Breathed into this uh, uh, image. He says, and, and he says, hey, 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 hey. God breathed into his nostrils and the bread of life. And man became a living soul. Look, even when God had created man, there was no life. No life, no life. No blood, no water, no vein, no nothing. It was just like a statute. Like it's just as good as you go, go, you use the snow with snow. You know the way you use snow to make a snowman. Just make a human shape in that. No life. Exactly. Until God breathed, breathed into the uh, nostril of man. And with that breath came life. Blood entered into man. This is supernatural. Brethren, you are supernaturally made. Created and formed by God. Don't let situation, life circumstances dictate for you. No, we are way, way, way more than that. We are way, way, way more than that. We are very, very much, 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 way, way more than that. A man became a living soul. There was no life. There was no blood. After God had formed man. But to see how valuable we are. The same breath from his own. Our breath came from God himself. He breathed into man. That same breath of life is available. Yes, we are distinct from every other creation. You are precious. You are unique. You are valuable. Hey. Hey. Even when God values you, how come you, you don't value your own self? You do not value your own self. My God. Our God put us in a place of power. He put us in a place of authority. He says he gave us a, say, let them have dominion. We have dominion. We have authority over everything. And above, I said, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. We are made to prosper. It is the will of God that we should prosper. It is the will of God that we should prosper. I don't know what you believe. I don't know who you listen to. I always say to people, you are a prophet, a prophetess unto your own self. You can decree a thing. Even the Bible says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. 
you and I, we should decree, speak those things that are not as though they were. That is authority. That is authority. Speak. God has given us every proof to know and understand that there is power in our word as his child, as his son, as his daughter. You carry power in your mouth. You carry power in your tongue to speak those things that are not as though they were. Yes, husband is not coming yet. You can speak my speak into it. Wherever your husband is, oh God, Lord Jehovah, in the four corners of this earth, Father, single him out. Let him locate me. Your word is going forth. He sent his word and his word. I sent my word and my word healed them. Your word is going forth. You keep believing. You keep trusting those words. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established, says the Lord. He did not say your pastor will decree a thing for you. He did not say your evangelist will decree a thing for you. He did not say those prophets and prophetess will decree a thing for you. No, you yourself, I myself, we ourselves, we will decree a thing and it shall be established. Power in your tongue, power in your word. You and I, we will decree it in, says the Lord, and it shall be established. God will honor it. Why? Because you are his. We belong to him. Whatever you speak, without doubt, the only enemy you have is sin and doubt. When you talk your own word, you speak, and then you doubt. Then you've scattered, you've nullified it. But when you speak... You believe, you keep decreeing, you keep declaring, you keep walking in it, you keep stepping out in faith. Why will it not come to pass? Why will it not come to pass? Surely it must come to pass. Hey, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. As long, listen, you may be seen. You may be saying it one month, one, two months, three months, six months. It hasn't come to pass. It does not mean that God is not working. It doesn't mean that God is not working. It does not mean that God is not working. The word that we speak, they are spirit and they are life. Those words are going before the Father. Those words are searching the four corners of the world to bring to fulfillment what you are declaring, what we are proclaiming. My God, all you do is continue to declare, continue to proclaim, continue to declare, continue to believe, continue to speak it, speak those things, continue speaking those things until you see results, until you see results, you don't stop, you don't give up, because God never gives up. The thing with God is that he walks with time. He knows the right time. He knows when we are matured for that blessing. He knows when we are matured enough for that blessing. He knows it all. If it is not his time yet, he is holding it for you in the right time. Haven't you noticed? Sometimes I have prayed for something years ago. I have even forgotten about it. Suddenly it happens. It happens. I'm like, wow, this is what I prayed for two, three years ago. And now it has happened. You might have prayed for a child five years ago, but now it has happened. It is his time. You might have been praying for your document. Now it happened. It's time. There is nothing. Nothing that God cannot do. Nothing that God cannot do. Nothing that God cannot do. Oh, Rabba Sikeli Adaboshiada. Makaladabo Sikayadabash. 
Ripa kala da 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 bo si de bo shada ba. Why do we give up easily? You speak those things that are not. What do you want to see in your life? With your mouth, with your words, and your believing heart of faith, you can speak them into existence. You can speak them into existence. Oh my God. Power has been given to you. He said, Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, upon these wicked ones. He has given us power. Yet, they are the ones tormenting us. Because we do not understand the power that we possess. We do not understand the authority that we possess. We do not understand... We begin to put limitations around us because we do not understand that our God is limitless. If my God is limitless, I am limitless too. I am unstoppable. I am reaching the world for Christ. I am going to nations. The Lord told me that and I believe it. And it's used people to confirm it. Then why will I limit myself? And then I'm looking at it. Division is big. Division is huge. There is no finance yet for it. And then I will think it will not happen. It's going to happen. It is going to be. It's going to happen. Because in his time, he will raise. He will, he will provide that money. Harabos kenderedeboshida bababa. I am already rich in Christ Jesus. My riches will manifest in no distant time. Ha! How do you see yourself? As a mad thinker, so he is. When you see yourself as a failure, hey, you have missed it all. You have missed it because you will continue to fail. <clears throat> he, he, you will continue. I am never, will never be a failure. Yes, this is my days of little beginnings. But my days of explosion is coming. My days of explosion is coming. You may be in your days of little beginnings. That doesn't mean that you should give up. All you need is to be patient. Wait, the Bible says. Wait, though it may tarry, though there may be delay, but it doesn't mean that God has forgotten. It doesn't mean that God has given up. No, it means he's just busy. He is still busy. He is still busy walking behind the scene. He is still busy doing the things he does best. He is still busy working it out for you. He is still busy making a way for you. He is still busy. He is walking behind the scene to give you the best of the best. Because his blessings make it rich and does not add any sorrow. Whenever you get anything that you think is blessings and that thing is giving you frustration and sorrow, it is not from God. Because his blessings make it rich. Oh my God. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, la baka ye de bossi alabash, ribrege de 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 bossi kalada bossi alaha, oli gala gala gada bossi de 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 bossi alabase keli alada bossi alabash, o baka le de 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 bossi keli de bossi alabash. Oh, bagala basi te kura da 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 basi keli ada boshi ada bas. 
Hey, hey, my father. My father. My father. My father. My father. She over God. Hey, Jesus, I am made for signs and wonder. I am a wonder to my generation. What about you? How do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself, my brethren, my beloveds? No, 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 no. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate the power of God in your life. He has given you power. He has given us power to dominate, to subdue. See, he says, be fruitful and multiply. You are not permitted to be stagnant in life. My God, you are not permitted. You are not. I am not. We are not permitted to be fruitless. Because he has given us the power. Or to say, be fruitful. Be fruitful and multiply. That is increase. We are supposed to be fruitful. We are supposed to have increase. We are supposed. You are not even supposed to be poor. You are not. His children are not supposed to be begging for bread. We are not supposed to be the one that is borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. We are supposed to be the one that is borrowing out, that is lending. We are supposed to be lenders and not borrowers. But because we do not understand the authority, he said, be fruitful and multiply. Hey, he says, and he blessed them. Then who is that person that wants to curse you? Who can curse that which God has blessed? Did you not see it there? Oh, the bossy color of the bus. Hey, Bacalara bus can get the bush at the baba, like a lega bossy at the bus. Hey, Bacalara bus can get the bush at her. Hey, twenty eight said, Look at it, twenty eight. Genesis one one twenty eight says, Then God blessed them. Hey, Baratata. Then God blessed them. Then God blessed me. Then God blessed you. Then God blessed us. Who is that uncle? Who is that auntie that wants to open their mouth to curse he or she whom God has blessed? Have you forgotten that curse is he that, that uh, curses you? Anyone that wants to place curse on you is already cursed. Because nobody can cause he, her, they that God has already blessed. I am already blessed by God. That is why anybody that opens his or her mouth to curse me, it will bounce back to them. The curse will return back to where it came from. You cannot place a curse on God's anointed. He has already blessed us, blessed our seeds, our children. Nobody can curse our children. It will bounce back. Hey, then God blessed them. I am already blessed from the foundation of the world. I am already blessed. Blessed by my father. Blessed by my father. And then after the blessing, be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion. Look at that powerful, powerful verse. Can you imagine that? Do you see that? Bre we need to understand whom we are in Christ Jesus. Our lives is not in the hand of any man. 
Nobody can kill me. No witch can kill me. No demon can kill me. Uh uh. God has given me power and authority over them. The only reason they have access to us is sin. Sin is what opens the door. Break the hedge. Break your hedge. And the serpent will bite, of course. Break your protection, your hedge of protection. Sin. Doubt is what is breaking our hedges and causing those serpents to bite. When your, when your life, our lives are hidden in Christ Jesus, we are protected by our Father. We are special, fearfully and wonderfully made. Did your Bible not tell you that? That you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Fearfully and wonderfully made. By who? By he that is almighty. By he that has everything in his hands. Including me and my generation. My God. I want to encourage somebody this morning. Know whom you are in Christ Jesus. Know the power that you possess in Christ Jesus. Know the authority that you carry as a child of God. That is why we can say to this mountain, be moved, and that mountain will move. That is why you say to that valley, hey, listen, it will move. He said, you will say to this mountain, be thou moved, because you believe, because you have faith, as small as a mustard seed. God is not even asking us to have faith that is as big as your house, as small as a mustard seed. A mustard seed is even smaller than your seed. Uh, the, 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 your corn, the seed from your corn. Mustard seed is even smaller than that. But yet, if you have that much faith, you can say to this mountain, be moved, and the mountain will obey you. You will speak to that situation. That situation will obey you. You will speak to that circumstances. They will obey you. The devil is messing with your husband. The devil is messing with your wife. The devil is messing with your job. The mess devil is messing with your children. The devil is messing with your ministry. The devil is messing with your life. The devil is messing with your finance. The devil is messing with your peace of mind. Hey, you carry power. You carry authority to command him out and chase him out. You don't let the devil stay there and, and begin to manipulate your life. No. You stop him because you have the power. You have the authority. Because you have the power, you have the authority to speak to him and command him. Who is Marine? Who is that witch? If witches has power, me, I would have died long ago. They would have succeeded in killing me. Not today, not yesterday, not this year, not last year. Even from my mother's womb. Who is he that speaks when God have not spoken? Who is he that speaks when my father has not spoken? If they have power, they would have dominated you. They would have killed you long ago. If those, they have power. They do not have power over you. The reason they succeed in killing some people is because they are so afraid. They don't understand the privilege. They do not understand the power that they have. The Bible says, resist the devil. And they will flee from you. He did not say, I, God, will resist the devil for you. Jesus did not say, my angels will resist the devil for you. You are the one that will resist them. You are the one that will command them. You are the one that will tell them what you want to do. They don't are not supposed to begin to control and manipulate you. And then you begin to believe the lies of the devil. The devil tells you you are useless. You too, you believe you are useless. The devil tells you you are a nobody. You too, you believe you are a nobody. The devil tells you that they want to harm you. You too, you believe that the devil can harm you. My God. Hey, Jehovah God. Hey, Jehovah God. Hey, No, I am untouchable. Do you remember when we were going for this mission field? I think this afternoon I'll be doing a praise report 
We'll be doing praise report on the mission mission field mission trip because we've not done that. We have to testify. We'll be giving God praise. We'll be doing a praise report on it. When we were about to travel, God was giving us serious. The devil was planning to attack us in different ways. He was planning seriously to attack us. Because they know that the Lord has sent us. That we are coming to set the captives free. To bring salvation to souls that he has held bound. We are coming to set at liberty those that he is holding in bondage. He knows. He was planning why God was planning, where we were planning. I was receiving revelations. You know something, why he was planning? God was revealing their plans to us. God was revealing their plans to us. Armed robbery attack, this attack, my husband too attack. Do you know something? The dreams I was dreaming, my daughter, my second daughter would dream of it again. To let you know that it is not just a dream. When I see this revelation, my second daughter will come and say, this is the dream. The same dream me I have had. And she did not even know. I did not tell her. But she dreamt of it again. God revealed it again through my own daughter. The same dream that he has revealed to me. So that we will pray. We fasted. We prayed. We bind. We banish. We catch them. We tie them. We frustrated all their evil plans. And we left. The devil said to me, election period, they turn they are killing here and there, killing people here and there. There was a time I like, I was like, ah, maybe I should shift the program. But the Lord says, for what? For what? This is the time I have sent you. In election, we were still doing program inside election, my God. That is how powerful our God is. We were still in church. Hey, Makalabos, Yadabos. We went to worry. In worry, in one side of worry, they were killing themselves. But we are in that same worry, hosting program. Hosting program to the glory of God. What happened? Nothing happened to us. We left there. We went to Ekoma. The next, we did program two days before election. On the election day, go, 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 the very election day, we had problem, program in the evening of election day. Just God just wanted to use that to tell the devil he is stupid. He is foolish. Good morning, every one of you. God bless you all. God bless you. You are welcome. On election day in Ekboma, we had program in the evening they voted in the morning in the afternoon evening time we were in church having our the best time ever do you know what people came the church was full people were there we were not there by ourselves people were there the whole the church was packed with people and we were thinking people will people come election day they came to the glory of God. What did the devil do? Nothing. God just used that to show him that when he says go, when he says do, he alone knows how to do it, how to protect. He kept us. Do you know, it, when, when we were traveling from Wari to, to Ekboma, the devil tried himself. He tried. He put witches in the same vehicle as us. But God passed them. God pass them. God pass them. God pass them. Who are they? Who is he that speaks? From when we left the park, I knew that there were witches sitting in the front of that bus on assignments. But when we left, as usual, me, I will pray and scatter their plans. We prayed. As the boss left the park, we prayed. Do you know, immediately we finished prayer, the boss pulled. The boss could not drive anymore. Boss that drove off from park, just leaving the park, we prayed. After prayer, boss collapsed on the way. The boss had to park. And the moment, even everything about that bus was so uncomfortable. The seats were uncomfortable. Mosquitoes everywhere. Everything to tell us that this bus is not the plan of God at all. Bus pack up. Oh. And then they brought another bus. But the moment we came out, the Holy, Holy Ghost told us not to go with that, continue with that bus. We came down. And I told them, my sister, I said, we are not going anywhere with this bus. We are, we are changing vehicle. 
There are some wicked witches in this vehicle. Who knows their plans? The devil actually planned something that day. <laughs> but God disgraced them. <laughs> God proved to them that he is God. See, when the enemy is planning against you, God has a way of escape. The moment the boss minds, the Holy Ghost told us not to follow the boss anymore. We can that. What about the money we paid? We dash them the money, let them carry But The Holy Ghost says we shouldn't continue. We had to call our pastor in worry and say, Pastor, please, oh, get us another vehicle that will take us to our destination. We cannot continue with this one. And when they were coming eh, when they were bringing the next bus, the bus they brought was very big with plenty of space so that it will entice us to enter because it is spacious. Now we can spread that and sit comfortably. You see the devil? Big boss. But the Holy Ghost says, don't enter. Witches are in that boss. And do you know something? When we came down from the bus, from the time we were waiting, me and my, all of us, we began to walk around that place. We were speaking in tongues. We were making them uncomfortable. They would be looking at us. They were looking at us. We were kabashing. We were blasting in tongues. We were speaking in tongues. We were praying. We were walking all over the place. We were moving around. They were just looking at us and looking at who are these people? What are these people? What is it? Which can we be this? They were looking at us with their corner eye. We were me and my sister, my husband. We were just praying. Speaking in tongues, uh, destroying, pulling down all their evil plans. Uh, we were led to blast. We were led to pray. We began to pray. We began to pray. They left. Are you not coming? No, we are not coming. They were looking at us. And they left. We waited for our own, another vehicle that took us safely, private hire, straight to our destination. And we arrived safely. Who knows the evil plans of the enemies? Those witches. That is how that car, maybe in a, in, a, in a very bushy area, the car will go and break down. They begin to operate. Or something will just happen. Or maybe one accident will just happen. Something terrible will just happen. But God destroyed that their evil plans. Why will you be afraid of witches? Why will you be afraid of them that have no power over your life? God has already blessed you. And no man can curse you. No witch can kill you. No power can destroy your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are made in the image of God after his likeness. You have power. You carry authority. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. Just step into your spacious place. Just step into the promises of God for your life. Continue to speak them. Continue to believe God. Continue to trust God. He is faithful. Can we share this message? I shouldn't be begging you to share. See, somebody led me to somebody's profile. Like when I'm online, I was, I was shocked to see. This person follows me. Support us, even financially, everything. I am shocked to see that most of my videos is not even on, on, on her wall. Wow. Why? Why? God just gave me her name and I went to her platform just now. Just now. I'm shocked to see to, for, at what I saw. As close to this ministry as you are. You don't share our videos, our audios, our messages. Wow, wow, wow. No wonder God says that people draw near to us, with, draw near to him with our mouth, but our hearts is far. God bless you, God bless you. Please, always share our messages, always, and be a blessing to people your, on your own walk, your own platform. When you do that, God will bless you. You don't know one or two persons may watch it and their life is changed the credit will come to you for sharing some will watch it and they will begin to follow us and then god can transform their lives the glory comes goes to god the credit comes to you before god that is one soul you have won for god's kingdom
Oh, Father, we thank you. Let's begin to appreciate him. The Lord has said what he wanted us to say. You need to have confidence in your God. Believe in yourself. Trust in the word and in the promises of God for your life. Trust in it. Come and begin to worship him. We want to pray now and then we go. And then we'll come back 12 o'clock. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. 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 We worship you, Father. Hey, ribasike li dada boshi adabas. Oh, revelebe boshi adababababa. Oh my God. Begin to worship him. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Oh, rabababababa. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. For his grace, for his goodness, for his mercies. Begin to thank him for the power and authority that he has given to you. Begin to thank him for loving you. Begin to thank him for making us after his own image, after his own likeness. Begin to thank him for the breath of life. Begin to thank him because he, he took us a nobody and is making us into somebody. Hey, Malabo Sharawa. Lord, I am grateful for your love. I am grateful for your love. I am grateful, Lord, to you. 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 I am grateful, Father. Oh, my God, my God, my God. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Riba baba ba si keli ada da bo si kaya da bo shada ha. Riba kate te 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 linde de de bo si ada ba. Ba kale te bo ra ba si de kaya da bo shi ada ba. Oh my God, Father, we thank you. Lord, I thank you. Begin to say, Lord, I step into your promises for my life. Lord of God, I step into your plans for me. God has a plan for us individually. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me. He, our plans, his plans for us are different, but yet he's got the best of plans for each of us. Nobody is worthless. Nobody is useless before God, but we need to learn to be comfortable in the plans and purpose of God for our lives. It is when you are not comfortable in the plans of God, in the plans of and the, and the purpose of God, of God for you, that you begin to imitate people. You begin to copy people. There is nothing wrong with learning from people. But then you have to be yourself. You have to be you yourself. Lord, you mean so much to me. Begin to say, Father, let your own plans, your plans and purpose for me begin to materialize in my life. Lord Jehovah, reveal your plans to me. Reveal your plans to me. Reveal your purpose to me. Who is praying? Who is praying? Who is praying? Do we love him? I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Yes, I love you, Lord. You are God. You are my God. 
Lord, bring me into your plans. Bring me into your purpose for my life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to say, Father, I receive the grace, the power and authority to subdue, to dominate anything that stands in my way. In the name of Jesus, I step into your fire, into your authority, into your power over my life. Oh, God. Father, reveal your plans, your purpose for my life to me. Hey, Kalarabos, to my children, yes, to my generation, yes, in the name of Jesus. I will be whom you have called and chosen me to be. Hey, I am made for science and wonder. Father, let me walk in your wonder. Let me walk in your science and your wonders. That people will see me and they will see your grace. That people will see me and they will see your glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Baba. I am yours. I am blessed. Begin to tell yourself, I am the Lord. I belong to Jesus. And I am blessed. My children are blessed. My marriage is blessed. My husband, wife is blessed. That is why no man can curse us. No man is permitted to curse us. We are blessed. We are blessed. I am made, I am created, I am formed for signs and wonder. I am a wonder to my generation. I am a wonder to my generation. I am a wonder to my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I will make an impact in my generation. I will be a household name. What will you be remembered with? How will people remember you when you are gone? Will they remember as that stingy man and woman? That one that does not want to help people? Or will you be remembered as that one that brought so much joy? So much joy, so much happiness to people. Haraba Shakaya. Yes, you are Lord. Begin to thank him. Father, we worship you. You alone, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised. Take all the glory. Father, we just thank you. Thank you for this section. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for revealing whom we are again. Thank you for reminding us of the power and authority that we possess. Thank you, Jehovah God. Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus. We are for signs and wonders. Our children are for signs and wonders. Father, we just give you the praise. Father, we just give you the glory. We say may your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. Let your plans and your purpose, oh, your will be done in our lives. Help us to continue to look unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit the next section, oh God, into your hands that you will take control. Let your name be praised and be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. I cover myself and everyone in the blood of Jesus. Even as we are fasting for these 24 hours, Father, Lord, we pray that you will give us the strength, the grace to complete it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Let your name be praised forever. In the name of Jesus. Take all the glory in our lives, O God. Perfect everything that concerns us, Jesus. May your name be praised forever. In Jesus' name, amen.
and amen and amen. God bless you all. See you at 12 uh, noon prayer time. In the name of Jesus. See you all later. Bye-bye. God bless you. Don't forget to share this message and encourage somebody. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you and bye-bye for now.